Hey, what's up guys? EYStream here, ready to test viral Minecraft block facts, hacks, and tricks to see if they are real gold or just trash clickbait. Make sure to watch until the end of the video because you won't believe how many secret block features are actually hidden in the game. And of course, make sure to leave a like with your eyelash. <laughs> I know none of you can do that. Wait, you can? Well then prove it to me and do it. And make sure to subscribe for more epic Minecraft content. All right, now let's jump straight in. Okay, what are we looking at here? Gold block with TNT? Okay, hit the lever, so it's going to explode? Cool? I'm, I'm not sure, what am I, what exactly am I looking for here, guys? Iron block, also going to explode? Yep, I don't know how this is a block fact. What is this supposed to tell me? TNT explodes? Yeah, I know, it's dynamite. Okay, boom. What am I waiting for? Okay, here's the lever. Let me guess. It's going to explode. Yep. All right. Well, this is uh, this is a waste of my time. What exactly is so special about this? Anvil? Oh, here we go again. It will explode. Wow, this video is so great. Okay, this time the anvil falls. Is that what I'm supposed to know? I know anvils fall here. Wait. It didn't explode? What? Explain to me. Explain to me. The anvil has actually stopped TNT explosions. That makes no sense. They're literally made out of iron, guys. If an iron block explodes, so should an anvil. All right, I've got to test this, guys. TNT does explode basically every block, at least to my best of knowledge. We're going to grab a few different ones to the ones they used in the video just to see whether it definitely does explode all other blocks. But of course, we need a test. Does it actually not explode an anvil? Of course, we're going to need a lever and, well, duh, TNT. So let's grab that, guys, and we'll test this out. Okay, so they had a bunch of different TNT blocks. We'll kind of just stretch them out across here, guys. All right, there we go. We'll put various blocks. Iron obviously explodes. At least we saw that in the video. We'll test it out just to make sure, guys, I'm not going crazy. But if iron explodes, why does an anvil not explode? All right, we're going to test out all these blocks here, guys. Let's put the lever. All right, bang, bang. Here we go again. Bang, bang. All right, double check. All these explode. Yeah, all of these go boom. It's pretty straightforward. Same with these blocks. I'm assuming bang and bang. We probably put this anvil a little bit close, but who cares? All right, and boom. Yeah, it's straight for okay. You saw that? Wait, 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 wait. You saw that guy? Wait, wait. Okay, it actually accidentally <laughs> exploded my TNT because I didn't put it way too close, but you saw that. That last TNT didn't explode. Wait, double check this, guys. We put the anvil there. We put our lever here. Light it up. Watch this again. The anvil falls into the TNT and somehow just no explosion it totally negates blast damage okay the, the the possibilities are limitless guys if you want to protect your house from creeper explosions you just need an anvil defense wall and same from your friends trolling you with tnt anvils 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 i can't believe it how the logic makes no sense but but it's true guys this is true block back confirmed all right we got a bunch of blocks here guys different ores and then some wood and a bunch of different pickaxes okay so he's mining the log with a wooden pickaxe that's not how you do it you're supposed to use an axe man Okay, and now he's using stone to mine a stone pickaxe. What, what is this supposed to say? That you can mine each block with its pickaxe? That makes sense. You can mine iron ore with an iron pickaxe. You can mine diamond ore with a diamond pickaxe. All of this makes sense, guys. This is just simple Minecraft logic. It makes sense. It, it just makes sense. You've got your uh, ancient debris there, digging up with netherite pickaxe. All good. And then, obviously, we can mine up our gold ore with our gold pickaxe, right? Okay, why is he just looking at the gold ore? Okay, golden pickaxe. Dig it up and... Huh? This has to be clickbait. It just has to be clickbait, guys. It makes no sense. It defies Minecraft logic. All the other ores work just fine. Okay, we're testing this out here, guys. Let's grab ourselves some different pickaxes. Of course, we have the wooden pickaxe, the stone pickaxe, the gold pickaxe, the iron pickaxe, and the diamond pickaxe here, guys. We're not going to bother testing netherite. We just need to see if it works. So we got the wood pickaxe here. I'm in creative. That's awkward. <laughs> well, this is survival. I was like, that is very quick, guys. All right, we're in survival. Let's try this again. So we can big up this wood just fine with that wooden pickaxe. Yep, that works. All good. We grab our stone pickaxe. We're going to dig up the stone. All good. Very, very easy. We grab our gold pickaxe. We'll leave this one to last here, guys, since that's the one that seems to be all broken. We got our iron pickaxe. Yep, just fine. We can mine up the iron ore. And of course, we got those beautiful diamonds. Look at all the achievements I am getting right now, guys. I have literally destroyed the game. Not that I was in creative 10 seconds ago. But anyway, Anyways, gold ore, golden pickaxe. Is it true? Is it fake? My bet is on clickbait, guys. In three, two, one, dig up the gold. Here we go. Excusez-moi. 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 Try that again. Huh? Minecraft police, this makes no sense. Somebody fix this game. Minecraft Cactus was added in 2010 and looked like this. In older versions, Endermen could place cacti on any block. The tallest ever natural cactus in Whoa, Minecraft is 22 huge. blocks tall. Cacti can be placed underwater. A cactus Wait, will really? destroy any item thrown at it, Whoa. making it better than lava for disposing of items. The bottom of a cactus can't normally be seen and looks like <laughs> this. Cacti can be found in bonus chests in Bedrock Edition, but nice. not in Java Edition. Wandering traders sell cacti for three emeralds in Java Edition, but five emeralds in Bedrock. That's a ripoff! What? <laughs> 
Now, I'm gonna be honest, I did not know most of those cactus facts, but there is one that really, really surprised me, and that was that you could place cactus underwater. Why does that surprise me? Well, most of you guys who play Minecraft probably know that if you go ahead and place any block next to cactus, it goes ahead and boop, just breaks like that. You cannot place cactus next to other blocks, and even if you've got cactus in your hand, it will not let you place it next to any other block. You have to place it one away. Now, I always thought that water counted as a block, so it really surprises me that you're able to place cactus in water. Honestly, I think it's clickbait. Let's see here, guys. Three, two, one. Yo! You actually can! It's legit, guys. You can place cactus underwater and it doesn't break. Look at that. And it's got blocks on all sides. That's really, really cool. So you can make giant cactus pillars underwater. Okay, we gotta give this a go here, guys. Wait. Wait a minute. What? I'm really confused here, guys. I Look at this. Ready? I've got my mouse here and I'm clicking, but we're not placing any cactus. But hold up. We place cactus up here. How come we can't place it down there? What? Wait, wait, let's just try this. This is one block deep of water. Can I place it here? I can't place it here either. Or here, or here. I can only place cactus one block deep in water. Wait, can I build a cactus tower if it's one block deep? Okay, I can. But if I go ahead and come down here, you cannot place cactus. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So can cactus still spawn here though? Okay, we're gonna try this. I'm gonna go use a command here, guys. We're gonna set block cactus. Okay, no, see, look, if I set block cactus here underwater, it just gets destroyed immediately. So it's kind of a lie, guys. The video is half clickbait, half true, right? You can technically place cactus underwater, but only one block deep. In the video, they said you could just place it underwater, but you can't. It has to be one block deep, any deeper than that, and boom, it just gets instantly destroyed. All right, okay, busting out the Minecraft block facts. Semi-fake, semi-true. They, they kind of just left out a small detail there. Minecraft's fire used to look like this when it glitched. What Soul the? fire isn't as bright as normal fire. <laughs> fire smelted almost before furnaces. Wait, Sorry, what? We had blue fire it years before soul fire. Fire charges can light a minecart with TNT. Glitched fire looked like this in 2010. <laughs> you can hold fire and soul fire in bedrock edition. Fire really? charges used to look like this. Minecraft dungeons has purple fire. Purple fire takes half a half a second. Chainmail armor used to be made with fire. I knew that. Soul okay, fire I knew that one. double the damage. Fire ages over time. Soul fire doesn't go out over time. Really? Subscribe. Okay, I'm low-key excited about one of those block facts. You can smelt ores in fire. I don't need a furnace. That's so cool. Okay, I need to test this out myself because I always thought that fire just burned items, but no, no, no. Apparently, we can go ahead and actually smelt ores. All right, let's go ahead and grab this, guys. Uh, we've got to put down a fire, and then what? You just chuck the ore into the fire. Let's test this out in three, two, one. Huh? 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 Excuse me. But this is awkward. Guys, that didn't work. What? Wait, I'll switch it to survival and give it a go. Gold door. Bang! No, no? It ain't my gold door, too. Okay, scam, clickbait, scam, clickbait, scam. Wait a minute. Did that video say only in older versions of Minecraft? Wait, we gotta watch that. I need to watch that video again, guys, before we bring in the verdict here. Fire smelted ores before furnaces. Wait, Sorry. wait, wait. Fire smelted ores before furnaces. So it was an update before furnaces. So this block fact will only work in versions before furnaces were added to the game. Now the question is, what version is that? Okay, what version were furnaces added to Minecraft? All right, let's have a look here, guys. Okay, the furnace, when were furnaces added? 19th of February, 2010 in version 0.31. So we've got to find a version earlier than 0.31. So we're looking for a version that's older than 0.31. So 0.3 should be fine. We'll add a new installation. We'll call it 0.3. Version. All right, we're gonna have to scroll a very, very far way. To Wait, release 1.0? Wait, that's the release 1.0 is the lowest version of Minecraft you can launch in the launcher. That means we can't get a version that's less than 0.31. It, it's so old, it's not even in the Minecraft launcher anymore. I can't run it. Dang! That means we're never gonna be able to test it and we're never going to know whether this video just made it up and it's clickbait or whether or not it's true. Well, if you guys get your hands on a version older than 0.31, I still wanna know. So let me in the comments below. Do you think it's clickbait or do you think it is real? Okay, what am I looking at? A bunch of items, huh? An anvil, okay, another anvil thing? A torch and anvil, well, that's obvious, the anvil. Wait, what? The anvil is made of three iron blocks, huh? It just got destroyed by a flower. Excuse, turtle egg destroys anvil? This makes no sense. It's like rock, paper, scissors, but without the logic here. Go okay, anvil will obviously destroy seat. It doesn't, it doesn't. Of course it doesn't, of course it doesn't. And now it's gonna destroy the sapling too. Why does it not destroy the sapling? It's made out of blocks of iron, for goodness sakes. Okay, and yeah, let me guess it But it destroys the dead bush. Okay, Minecraft logic, goodbye. 
So apparently logic is just something that Microsoft forgot to code into the game because anvils, which we literally saw earlier in today's video, could stop TNT explosions, can easily be destroyed by a simple torch. Oh yeah, that'll do the trick. Torch, goodbye. A sapling, no problem. Even a flower and some wheat seeds. It just makes no sense here, guys. Look, we'll use a different flower to the video, but then apparently when it comes to a dead bush, oh no, it's fine. Look, we can even use some turtle eggs, guys. I, I, I just don't get it. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this out right now. We've got a torch here, guys. Let's build this up here, and we'll drop our anvil on it. Wait, let's do this, okay? An anvil falling from super high heights. Gravity should crush this torch. We'll drop the anvil here. You're kidding me. You're kidding. The <laughs> Guys, I can't believe this is an actual real fact in Minecraft that this is an actual thing. Wait, we're gonna need some grass here, guys. This is an actual thing that happens in Minecraft. Destroyed. Destroyed. It's true. It's it's all true here, guys. I just this this absolute ton of iron. Which look, if you drop this thing on your head, guys, you take a significant amount of damage here, and you don't get destroyed, and the anvil doesn't get destroyed. Watch that again. Drop that on my head and it doesn't get destroyed. You know, apparently, an entire human skull is not enough to destroy an anvil, but oh no, a simple flower will do the trick. Ready? Flower, done. I, I just can't. But then, no, dead bush, right? We'll grab our dead bush here, guys. We'll build this up. Our simple dead bush, we drop the anvil up, and it just crushes it. How come it doesn't crush these blocks, but it crushes a dead bush? A torch is basically a dead bush that's on fire. I mean, it's a piece of wood with fire. It's just this on fire. How, why? See, a logic apparently doesn't exist, but this isn't clickbait. It's real. Minecraft's uh, barriers yes, used to look like this. Barrier. Redstone can pass through barrier blocks. Whoa, Water what? can go inside barriers in bedrock edition. Beacon really? beams can go through barriers. Real no symbols have the line going the other way. Withers used to be able to break barrier blocks. Barriers what? used to make lava particles when broken. That you can't makes go sense. above or below what? border blocks in the education edition. In debug mode worlds, the floor is made of barriers. Whoa. Invisible bedrock used to surround worlds in pocket edition. I this was the that. first image of a barrier block. Barriers have the highest blast resistance in well the game. Done. Barriers. So apparently, even though we can't pass through barrier blocks, redstone, water, and beacon beams can all go through barrier blocks. All right, we're going to try this out here, guys. So first, we'll give ourselves a beautiful barrier block. Here we go. Bang, bang, bang. As you guys can see, we cannot walk through these things. They are EY stream proof. In fact, they are all player proof. But redstone can apparently go through them. So we'll grab ourselves a redstone torch and a redstone repeater here, guys. Let's go ahead and we'll grab our redstone torch. We'll wire our redstone in and... It didn't work. Wait, what if we use a repeater here, guys? It, it, it just didn't work. Wait, a repeater? Okay, so it half works. Okay, the fact is semi-true. Not all redstone can pass through barriers, right? If you just use a normal redstone wire going into our barrier block here, doesn't transfer redstone. But if we use a repeater, boom, it will pass through the barrier. Interesting. Okay, so that one is half true. The next one was, does water pass through our barriers here? All right, so we'll grab ourselves a barrier and we'll put some water in it. It does. It doesn't. Look, guys, hit the barriers. Water doesn't pass through. Okay, that's completely fake. Wait, did the video say bedrock edition? I think it. I think it might have. We'll go ahead and test this in bedrock. Okay, I'm not throwing in the towel just yet. I've just <laughs> launched a bedrock world here, guys. We're going to grab ourselves a barrier once again. Okay, if I can spell give, give at. Can I type today? <laughs> give at people. I can't type. I can't type. Okay, we'll try that again. Barrier. There we go. All right, we'll give ourselves the barrier here, guys. And now we want to see, does water pass through the barrier in Bedrock Edition? Yes, it does. Okay, so water will pass through barrier blocks in Bedrock Edition, but not Java. So that's half true once again guys these block facts they're they're always like leaving out little details here okay and then finally guys we've got the beacon beams will they go through barrier blocks we'll grab ourselves some iron blocks a beacon let's go ahead and quickly make ourselves a makeshift beacon chuck that on and finally guys let's go ahead and put the barrier blocks on and yep we're all good there guys the beacon beam will in fact pass through the barrier blocks Here's something you probably didn't know about Minecraft. Oh, really? I'd be impressed. There is an effect called Frostwalker for boots okay, in game. Okay, I already knew there was ice Frostwalker. when the player walks on water. Yes, I knew that. Okay, what is this video trying to show you me? I know you can do this. That, though. But if you put boots with these enchantments on an armor stand and push an armor that armor stand. stand over water, the boots will work as intended. Wait, really? But you're not wearing them. Is that true? So he pushes the armor stand with the piston here and... I can't think of many situations where this would be Yo, useful. Yo, what? Though. You can make like huge ice bridges with that. that. That's so cool. That's an awesome block trick. 
If this works, I'll actually be really, really excited because you can make like huge ice bridges using this block fact. However, I've actually never, ever seen anybody do this. So that kind of means my confidence is pretty low. Also, this video had almost no views on YouTube. So I'm beginning to think it might be a scam. But then again, because it had no views, it was probably just some guy messing around in his Minecraft world. So maybe this isn't actually clickbait. All right, there we go. We've got everything we need. Let's chuck that down and we'll enchant our diamond boots with a frost walker there. And then what? We just got to jump right up to the water here, put our armor stand down, chuck on our frost walker boots. He had a piston, a slime block, and then what? He activated the piston. All right, guys, moment of truth in three, two, one. Okay, it didn't even, it didn't even push the armor stand. The armor stand literally just stayed still. What? What if we teleport the armor stand here? TP at E type equals armor stand at P. Okay, wait a minute. So if the armor stand is standing on water, the frost walker boots do in fact work. That is true. However, you can't push them using a piston. You have to use a command. It's clickbait, guys. It might work once or twice, but I think it's honestly just a glitch. Does not work. And for our next trick, you're going to have to watch the next video because we just ran out of time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe for more tricks like this, guys, and more block packs and all that good stuff. And until then, anyway, stream out. Bye.